Sustainability is becoming more and more important. Sustainable transportation has a large contribution to a greener environment. We all know about electric cars, but what do we know about hydrogen cars? Are hydrogen cars more sustainable? Are they a better alternative in the future? In today's video, we will be comparing hydrogen power cars to electric cars. We will sum up the pros and cons. Before we dive into the video, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments or by the thumbs up feature. If you want to see more videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. In order to understand the difference, let's start explaining a hydrogen electric car. This technology needs a hydrogen tank that feeds an electric cell with high-pressured hydrogen gas that'll mix with oxygen. This mix starts an electrochemical reaction that produces electricity to power the electrical motor. This implies hydrogen cars have characteristics of both electric cars due to the utilization of electrical energy and motor and standard petrol cars because of the tank. However, they represent a novel share of the transportation market and they're also called FCVs, fuel cell vehicles, or FCEVs, fuel cell electric vehicles. The electric vehicles are powered by electric motors that pull current from a chargeable battery or other portable sources of electricity. Once they're moving, there's no chemical process happening either, only an electrical one due to the ability batteries were previously charged with. So, let's go over the good and the bad of hydrogen cars, starting with the cons. Energy efficiency. The hydrogen produced has to be compressed, chilled, and transported to the hydrogen station, a process that is around 90% efficient. Once inside the vehicle, the hydrogen needs to be converted into electricity, which is 60% efficient. Finally, the electricity used in the motor to move the vehicle is around 95% efficient. Put together, only 38% of the original electricity, 38 watts out of 100, are used. The Fuel Availability and Infrastructure J.R. DeSasso, director of the Luskin Center for Innovation at UCLA, told ABC News, if there were stations everywhere, hydrogen would be an obvious solution. There are currently 42 hydrogen fueling stations in California, though not all are online. Hydrogen production might not be eco-friendly. Most hydrogen today, 95% of the U.S., is produced by the process of methane reforming. This tears apart all the potential of hydrogen-powered vehicles as a solution to fight climate change because of the carbon monoxide and dioxide that are generated in the process. Having zoomed in on the turn side of hydrogen cars, what makes them interesting? Fast refuel and long driving range. It might be a struggle to refuel, but once you find a station, it goes fast and due to its longer range, you don't need to charge as often as an electric car. This explains why, in 2019, Renault announced that it was adding two new utility vehicles to its line, the Kangoo ZE Hydrogen and Master ZE Hydrogen. Both vehicles will be equipped with a range extender fuel cell providing electric and thermal power of 10 kilowatts, offering a range of over 350 kilometers, the best range in the electric van and small van category, in only 5 to 10 minutes. Life Cycle and Performance Hydrogen fuel cells offer greater efficiency in terms of life cycles. A hydrogen vehicle has the identical range as those who use fossil fuels and will maintain this range when aging. This is often superior to it currently being offered by electric vehicles EVs, which are increasingly being developed with electric cell power units as range extenders. Hydrogen fuel cells also are not significantly impacted by the surface temperature and don't deteriorate in weather, unlike EVs. This advantage is increased further when in addition to the short charging times. Greener Footprint While the production of a lithium-ion battery uses large amounts of CO2, hydrogen production has the potential to be far less energy-intensive. It is a non-toxic substance that is rare for a fuel source. This means that it is friendly towards the environment and does not cause any harm or destruction to human health. Now that we're aware of hydrogen cars, what makes so many manufacturers choose to produce electric cars? Cons The sustainable electricity, even in the United States, where renewable energy makes up for the biggest portion of energy usage, is only 20%, which means that, in an indirect way, your car continues to be contributing to pollution. Envision Solar is starting to create charging stations as clean as possible, even more so than they are currently. The corporation is within the middle of designing and developing a charging station that's 100% renewable. There isn't an awfully large selection, yet. 
Although they seem as if they are popular, in reality, EV vehicle sales contain only a tiny low number, coming in at only 2% of latest car sales. However, EVs are projected to grow significantly within the next few years. If you want to see the historical sales of EVs globally, we got a video coming up on that soon. Tesla works on a spread of EV models specifically, but many manufacturers just got started with their EV production. Limited Mileage and Charging Time While it would be fun to launch your EV off the road and really put it through its paces, you'll also significantly limit your range by also flooring it. In everyday driving, the four most affordable EVs might offer as little as 150 to 250 miles of range, especially older models. To induce longer ranges that are more similar to a gas-powered vehicle, you'll spend considerably more time filling your battery. Even then, the simplest cars still deliver a practice range typical of a median gas tank. Now with that said, here is the list of electric car advantages. Maintenance Electric cars are considerably costlier. They're built with fewer moving parts, which reduces the likelihood of something breaking. The largest expense with EVs is the eventual need of electric battery replacement, which can include a four-digit tag. Still, you must be able to get many miles out of your EV before that becomes a problem. Popularity and Innovation As more and more brands start to release electric car models, the competitors are battling to get the most sales, resolving in better offers for us as consumers. Governments are starting to see more and more advantages in this sustainable transportation that they are happy to support with subsidies. After performing a study, the conclusion was clear for Horvath and partners. In the case of the passenger car, everything speaks in favor of the battery, and practically nothing speaks in favor of hydrogen. No sustainable economy can afford to use twice the amount of renewable energy to drive with fuel cell passenger cars rather than battery-powered vehicles, said study leader Dietmar Wagenreiter. This is also the view of customers. In Germany, there are already more than 130,000 battery cars on the road, but only 507 hydrogen cars. Not all automakers are convinced that hydrogen can help them meet their emissions targets. Audi stops development of its hydrogen-powered vehicles, including its flashy H-Tron concept that was expected to hit the market in 2025, according to German newspaper Die Zeit. Whereas BMW has not ruled out hydrogen, the Bavarian automaker said in a tweet that it would produce an X5 SUV with its second-generation hydrogen fuel cell powertrain by 2022. Honda has sold close to 2,000 Clarity fuel cell vehicles in almost four years. Toyota stated not to bet on just one horse and is currently investing in both techniques. Hyundai has also been releasing hydrogen-powered cars. Research shows high variations in outcome and results. Clearly, the opinions are very mixed. Some say only electric cars are the future. Others see a mixture of both technologies. Either way, the industry continues to develop, bringing much more good to us as consumers. What do you think? Which technique has the best potential for the future? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching.